We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. You belong in Ravenclaw! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. 
I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw Common Room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Let's head to the common room. Oh, bunk beds. Oh, these are the coolest bunk beds ever. Or at least that I've ever seen. Need to get the mi mirror fixed. Okay. Do we go up? Yeah, looks like we go up, but... Oh! Right, I think... Yeah, the Ravenclaw... Claw's dorm dormitory is in... The... Tower, so this makes perfect sense, yeah. Okay. Can't go down there, that seems to be the woman's dormitory. That's cool. Take a look. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I'm afraid I'm not much for memorizing constellations. Enough to worry about on the ground. Well, you should know that all fifth years must take astronomy. However, I think you will feel differently after one night up on the tower. A quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. 
Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. To meet you, Ahmed. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? Someone threw a dumbbell. <coughs> <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Harrowing indeed. I'm still a bit on edge myself and a little nervous for classes to start. Oh, you needn't be worried. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dungbong back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Okay. Is that Rowena? Okay. Introduce yourself to Samantha. I'm not sure this is the right spot. But no doubt the flat will be remembered as the worst headmaster Hogwarts has ever seen. No ability to I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones. <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wigan World potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wigan Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you, too, on your first day. Thank you. Hey there. New Raven. Not keep her waiting. I won't. One more time. That's cool. Meet Professor Weasley outside of the common room.
I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. This is a pretty cool game so far. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Revelio. Professor, I can already do at least two spells. That Lumos. and that. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. So what if I? And to be a wizard. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Collect. This bust created in honor of Ravenclaw House residents in the lofty Ravenclaw's Ravenclaw Tower, not Ra Raven. Crawled, Croft. I, you've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Field guide cha challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from cha challenges increase their level and power. Each challenge has tiers. Special re rewards unlock at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Going to open it one more time. To see this. That's what I just collected. Gear. Going to keep the gloves off for the time being.
going to keep the robes on for the for now. Nope. Welcome to Hogwarts. Okay. Settings. Ooh. Let's take a look at the map. Ah, oh, that's cool reveal of the map. Okay. Okay, that's inventory. Okay, let's get back. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. Wait. Oh, I think there's stuff down there. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Okay. Sorry, Professor, there's stuff over here. Wait, I have to say what? Rebellion. What's that? I oh, can't seem to open that just yet. to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide Fast is travel. Of the castle. Open it up and find central hall. Open map. Central hall. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the great hall. Select the Grand Staircase region to continue. Grand Staircase. In this view, you can see the flue flames available in the region. Green flue flames represent flames that have been discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flue flames reveal the locations of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the Astronomy Tower, Library, and Greenhouse. Select the Library Annex to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall Flu Flames near you. Uh, rotate. I uh, use. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? 
Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Thank you. Okay. I think I'm going to end here for the day. I uh, will be bouncing between this game and The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, I don't know which one I will be. I'll probably be completing The Last of Us Part 2 first, since I'm just about halfway through that game, but yeah, until then, and I'll be bouncing between the two, but yeah, I'll see you in the next one.